You know, if they gave out awards for simply loving your country and doing what you can to make your part better, Jade Baruchel would probably be in the Hall of Fame. He's one of Hollywood's favorite young actors in films like Million Dollar Baby, Tropic Thunder, Knocked Up, She's Out of My League, and How to Train Your Dragon. Okay, so are we done? Because I've got some things I need to, uh... Yep, done. But for Jay, it ain't about Hollywood. It's about Montreal, which is home. He's got a burning passion for... Lettre Calaire, and he literally wears our maple leaf on his chest. Jonah, I am a patriot. This is a tribute to my country and my countrymen. But that's not all. As a filmmaker, Jay wants to tell Canadian stories, as he did with Goon, the bloody knuckle hockey comedy he starred in in Cobra. Doug, the thug, glad. I'm a big fan. It's a good show. All of which makes him the perfect panelist for Canada Reads, CBC's annual Battle of the Books. Jay chose to defend Hugh McLennan's Two Solitudes symbol of divide that can separate the French and English, and so fitting for Jay, a classic work about what it means to be Canadian. Good night, everybody. Good night. How are you? Welcome back. Thank you. You have, uh, as we know, we've talked about it, you have been a, a very public face and voice for selling this country. You are now in the Thanks. biggest blood sport this country has. After GSP, it's Canada Reads. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know, and as an English guy right. from a French province yep. doing two solitudes, yep. that's quite a thing. I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> sure are. Yes. Glenn, this is an, uh, an epic story. It is. That this country, most people should read. I agree. Did you pick the book? I did. The idea of the two solitudes, is it still... Oh, it doesn't seem to be the same because... Quebec seems to have figured it out. Like, the two seem to work. I agree, agree 100% of the time that on, uh, on the street, the average person, either Anglophone or Francophone... Or even have, Allophone, right? Or Allophone, we all have so much more in common than we don't. We all complain about the same weather, we're stuck in the same traffic, we eat the same food, we, we root for the same hockey you get team. the same gangsters doing what they do in I that mean, city. honestly, everything's crooked, you know. <laughs> uh, 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 this book is a testament to what happens when we connect and what's, what's best in Canada, you know, and, and it's just like, I use the analogy of um, I am both my mother and my father and neither. Um, uh, but I, I excel where both of them failed because they connected in me. Right. And I see that as, you know, English and French in this beautiful country that we're all better for being together. It's actually, it's, it's cool that he's from Cape Breton as it's sort of an outsider telling the story. Yeah. I'm sure growing up you had a whole lot of outsider feelings. I did. You know, your heritage, yeah. being English. Yeah, oh. yeah also because we, we left Quebec when I was uh, five or six, moved to Oshawa, and then, uh, and then moved back to Montreal in 93 or 4, a year or two before the 95 referendum. Mm -hmm. Let me play the, 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 a couple of really iconic clips that talk about this, and you just alluded to one. This clip here, just, what, what are your thoughts? Over at the No Side headquarters, celebration, the waving of flags. 50.38% of the vote for no. They just numerically won it. But wither Quebec and wither Canada after a result this close. You know, I just got weirdly emotional watching that again. And just The last part got me all... Oh, man, I was... Uh... Uh, uh, 12 or 13, um, uh, one of the polling stations was a block over from uh, my mom's house. And uh, so uh, a few kids of, from the neighborhood and I, you know, we uh, painted our faces in maple leaves and, and grabbed no signs and stood outside the polling station. It's and the only time you'd ever paint a maple leaf on you. <laughs> on your face. <laughs> and, on my face, yeah. 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 Um, and we were also. I mean, you, you have know, it here, but that's, yeah. You know, but I see what you're saying. I know, I, I hate the maple leaves from Toronto. Yeah, that's yeah, the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and then there was the massive uh, uh, no rally downtown that preceded the referendum by about a week where busloads of uh, uh, people from all across Canada descended upon Montreal to sort of show that um, the rest of Canada does want Quebec to be a part of it. Yeah. And there was this massive Canadian flag and I was right in the thick of it. Um, but I look at those images and uh, uh, it's... It's not uh, pleasant. I don't look at it and say, like, it doesn't look like a Habs victory. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it's, we came so bloody close, and, and, um... What's wild, man, is if you're, like, 18 years old now uh, across this country, and this is not an Eastern conversation either. This is a national conversation. But if you're 18, 19 years old, you don't know that story. No. There's the kids grew up who don't even realize how close it did come. And, and they probably don't know about Oka either. Yeah. There's, like, there, you know... 
the 90s, a lot of stuff happens, <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, um, and, and that's that's my time, that's my generation, right. and that's what I mean by extreme. It was just everything was so um, immediate and extreme you and knee-jerk. Uh, I've got another clip that shows how divisive it can be in this country here. This one had a major impact on most of our lives. Mr. Ethan had sent the blue and white sweatshirt <laughs> of the Toronto Maple Leafs. I had always worn the red, white, and blue sweater of the Montreal Canadiens. All my friends wore the red, white, and blue sweater. And besides, the Toronto team was always being beaten by the Canadiens. <laughs> right? I was the opposite in Oshawa. I you was were. the one kid in the hab stuff surrounded by Leaves kids. I will, uh, I will give you another congratulations. Uh, the success of Goon is impressive. Thank you. Not just the fact that it was a good movie that people liked, but it made a bunch of money, man. It, it made a bunch good. of money. Yeah. Thank you. It's an um, accomplishment. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, no, it, it, it's indicative of um, how special and important the flick is to, to a lot of people. Um, I also think it's a victory for, um, for our system, for, for telefilm and all the... You know, we, we are so blessed in this country to live in a place where the government funds our artwork. It doesn't really happen. You, I mean, I try to tell Americans that, they don't believe me. Yeah. And I say, like, every record that comes out, you know, uh, every music video, every TV show or movie has at least an element of public funding in it. But, but there was more to it with Goon. Goon also told a story that, like, we've tried to make hockey movies in this country before, and they haven't all worked. Some of them have been really good. Yeah. But Goon figured it out. Is it just a perfect storm? I mean, you guys, Douse is incredible. Yeah, like, you it's know, a force of nature. I, I think the right people found each other, and, I, and it came out at the right time. I think um, I... I I think, um, strangely, I, I'd say Trailer Park Boys allowed for Goon to happen. Mm -hmm. Honest to God. I agree. I, I, I think that that was a populist uh, TV show. Uh, w one of my favorites, religion for me, Trailer Park is, but the movies and the seasons of the show, um, that proved, that was proof of concept that Canadians can watch Canadian stuff. Right. But there are different types of Canadians, so there should be different types of movie to reflect that. The hobo with a shotgun, man. I that's exactly that. right. You need to do... A hundred percent. That's what you train... You know, As when... I told you, it's one of my favorite films of the last five years. Uh, hobo? Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. I love the death scene. <laughs> Getting killed by hockey skate is the a best. highlight in my career. Uh, the best. More of a conversation with Jay right after this. Thanks. All right, so what happens when Jay, Seth Rogen, and a whole bunch of their famous friends face the apocalypse? <laughs> I'm going to get into it next. Oh, my God! We should get caller number 56 million and one. <laughs> Nintendo Gameplay, my name is Jay. How may I help you? Hello, Jay. Mop, are they treating you okay? Yeah, Mop, they're, tre they're treating me fine. Not now. I I'm working. All right. Nintendo Gameplay, my name is Jay. How may I help you? I love PMK. I think you're doing a great show, but I much prefer Alicia. Alicia? <laughs> Funny! Listen, between you and Alicia Cuthbert, like popular mechanics for kids, <laughs> just think of what that show's turned out. You guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm gonna get. I got nothing to say on that one. Yeah. It's, uh, hey, we educated some people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you absolutely Taught did. Taught them how elevators work and stuff. <laughs> Let me play this clip. I saw this trailer the other day. That we've, we've edited to make it shorter, but just watch this. Dude, Siegel's dead. Krumholz is dead. Michael Sarah's dead. Yes, and Michael Sarah's gone. It's not a total loss, huh? <laughs> Jesus, Dan. <laughs> Michael Sarah's dead. It's not funny, man. It's really not funny. <laughs> I gotta say, I gotta say, I have... As I, as I get older, I truly, truly have tried not to swear as much. Not because we're on at 7 o'clock. I just have tried yeah. in my life not it, to swear as much. Yeah, but I can't <laughs> wait for this movie. <laughs> like, okay, two of us. This, like, and I'm so worried that all the best parts are in the, no. In the trailer. Oh, no. That, that's arguably the least funny scene in the movie. Really? This Honestly. is the end. Is, 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 is that what it is? This is the end. It's about the end June of the world. June 14th. It's yeah. all you guys playing yourselves. It's about five idiot actors stuck in a mansion together during the apocalypse. <laughs> 
That's exceptional. Well, lock up your daughters. Is it? Are you? Are you allowed to say? Is it good? Are you allowed to say? I adore it. I. 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 Um, I, I showed it to a friend of mine last night. Even I, I. I. I'm just so so proud of it. It is incredibly funny. The best compliment I can pay is just the funniest movie that isn't Goon. That, but dude, that, there's enough Canadians in that. That's that's our film too. Uh, without a doubt, that's and, our film. And directed by two guys from Vancouver. That's amazing, man. Yeah. A real, real pleasure. Congratulations on, on being a part Thank of Canada. Thank you very much. Great work as always. Thank you, bud. Jay Barrett, shout out to everybody. <laughs> Turf Wars, Canada Reeves Turf Wars on Radio One and CBC Documentary Channel. We'll be right back.